Three, two, one, go. <laughs> go. Welcome back <laughs> to Fives a Crowd, ladies <laughs> and gents. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are going to do just a nice, relaxing, fun episode of Ask Reddit. Ask Reddit? <laughs> it's no. Not, hey, it is Gay Pride Month. Oh, oh that's right, it is. <laughs> <laughs> We've already discussed the levels of gay, right? And what's homosexual? Yeah, oh, homosexual in one yep. of our past episodes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that level again? I don't remember. Uh, Chris said it's only gay if your balls touch. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What do you mean? He's not wrong, Cam. <laughs> that's what's stu- that's what's stuck with you. Cam, Cam's taking that into real life. That reminds me. I didn't even FYI. think about it before I said it. <laughs> This there there might be parental advisory on this episode. We'll, we'll see. Maybe. <laughs> we'll wait for that. <laughs> That's what she said. No. Um but no, I did want to touch on just huh? recent things in in with us, if that's all right, or do we want to just focus on Yeah. Okay. There's a I lot going like, on. I feel like we got right a lot now. going on in our little crowd here. And so uh um Austin, why don't you start? Oh man, between buying the house and everything in between, it's just been a madhouse around here. We even had a leak down here in the studio. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but our 100K plaque that literally hung in our wall for over four years, the yeah. nail was in a P-Tex pipe. <laughs> our water line <laughs> never leaked until just recently. And so That's what it was. Yeah, dude. We were like trying to pull the nail out and we're like, Oh, it's. I thought I nailed it into a two by four. <laughs> Apparently, I nailed it into the pipe that was nailed to oh the two by four. God. So, had a you know had a little bit of water leak here in the basement, but it it was a real simple, quick, and easy fix. So, very oh, happy good. for that. Did you do the patch on it? Yeah, looks good, man. Thanks, man. Don't look too hard. You can see it. <laughs> Don't get caught staring. <laughs> but the uh, yeah, so that was fun. That's what she said. But. Um, I mean, right now, I mean, we're getting the basement finished, interiors all being done. It's just been a madhouse. You know how it is, buying mm-hmm. a house, the craziness that goes with right. it. Right. Right, dude? Yeah. Right, dude? Right. How do you right. know, Chris? Right, dude. Chris, how do you know, Chris? Chris, how do you know how that is? Chris. Because we're right in the middle of it as well. What? Whoa. 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 Trying to expand a little bit, so we've found a piece of property that has a nice shop in the back to where I can bring some work home so yeah. I can work yeah. from home a little more. For those Heck of you yeah. who don't know, Chris is buying like a 1.5 million land, you know, <laughs> shop, all that stuff, you know. <laughs> 1.5? <5? laughs> With your contribution. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It could be. Oh, oh man. man. For real, though. No, no what, what we're doing is uh, we're transferring hand from our pocket to somebody else's pocket when yeah. you move in this... <laughs> with the market the way it is right now. That's so you're true. just saving your equity. You're just moving it around to another home. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah that's it's true. Wild. I think the biggest headline though is you, Tony. I know. Mine's dude, not I happy news you. though. Yeah, I know. What? I know, dude. It was rough. So our yeah. little guy, Reggie, he sadly took a s- tumble down the stairs. Um, and it was like, I didn't realize how big the stairs were, but it yeah. was like a 10 flight stairs, 10, 12 flights. Oh, really? Flight. There's 14 steps. 14. And, oh, uh, my God. Luckily, they're all carpeted, straight shot, but it's the staircase down to the basement, and there's a door there. But uh, my sister-in-law, who lives down in the basement, she came home with her arms full of groceries, so she opened the door and couldn't turn to shut it, went downstairs to put her groceries away. We had Reggie and his walker, and at the time when my sister-in-law went downstairs, Jenny and I were in the room, Um, but we left Reggie to kind of play with the kids because he likes to hang out in the living room and play with the kids and different things, and um, we went upstairs real quick. I had just gotten home from work, and we went home just talking about each other's day, and while we were there, he made his way from the living room through the dining room into the kitchen over to that door, and... Down he went, and my sister-in-law, she was the one that heard it and then found him, and she just heard, like, three bangs, just 
boom, boom, boom. And so we're thinking what had happened was there was the initial fall, then he flipped, hit his head, and then flipped again and surprisingly landed right side up. Oh, wow. In his walker. And so anyway, we grab him and I'm checking him out. Didn't look like there was any broken bones or anything, but we were concerned about his head. And so we took him to the local ER and, uh, and they kind of checked him out. They said that the front of baby's skulls is actually really tough. And so they weren't too concerned about it, especially cause he was acting normal all right. in all. And, uh, and so they said, we'll keep you here for about an hour. We'll just kind of monitor him, watch, and see how he does. And so after a bit, they're like, yeah, he, he seems fine. We're not too worried. Vitals are good. So sent us home. Um, the next day, he started to swell a little bit. And so we have a friend in our ward that's uh, a paramedic. And so we had him check him out. He said, swelling's completely normal. Um, he said, what you want to watch for is if he starts having vomiting, <clears throat> like full on vomiting, not just spitting up food, that type of thing, but like full on vomiting or pooling of blood behind the eyes. Um, those are definite signs of head trauma. How do you notice that? Oh, you would just see it. Okay. Like you would start to like see the like bruise, like a black guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, and so we were like, okay, you know, kind of let it go. Um, and then as the night went on, it, the swelling got worse. So we called Jenny's uncle, who's some kind of ER specialist. I can't remember what he does specifically, but he basically said the same thing our friend did, that the swelling's normal and everything. And so, again, just kind of let it go. Mm -hmm. Well, as the next couple of days went on, it just wasn't going away. If anything, it was getting a little bigger. And Jenny's motherly intuition, she was just like, I just want to get a second opinion. I just have to be sure. And so... Took him back. The doctor, after looking at him real quick, he was like, yeah, he's all... He said the same thing as far as the front of the head, but he's like, that swelling is pretty intense. Let's go ahead and order the CT scan. Mm -hmm. So we uh, had him scanned, and uh, sadly, they did end up finding a small skull fracture. Mm -hmm. um, he called it a lateral fracture, which... I guess basically it's just like a small hairline fracture. He said it's nothing to worry about. He did send the scan to somebody down at Primary Children's, a specialist down there, at like a neuro something or other. I don't know, but um, got a second opinion. And yeah, he said, he's like, I've seen these before. There's no blood on the brain. There's nothing wrong with inside the skull. So they're not worried there. They said the swelling's normal as far as it's just it, it's most likely blood between the skin and the skull the body's way of, in a sense, just padding it up. Mm. Um, but yeah, he said, he's like, just keep an eye on him. If the swelling seems to grow, then definitely let us know. But otherwise expect the swelling to kind of move. It, it might make its way down his face, expect bruising, that kind of thing. But otherwise, um, we just have to keep an eye on him, make sure. And he's still acting all normal. And he's yeah, yeah still good. laughing, having a good time. Good. And so that's wild, dude. dude that's crazy. But I can't believe he just like dead sprinted <clears throat> out that door, huh? Oh, he, I mean, <laughs> he just the way you described it. I just imagine the minute he's caught without anyone watching him, he's like, Hey, go! And he just <laughs> that's the thing, dude. He skipped all the stairs. The yeah. funny thing that's kind of ironic is we had him in my childhood walker, and I went down the stairs in that walker. It's cursed. It's <laughs> ironic. You need, get, cursed. You need to get rid of that thing. Oh, we did. It's it's folded up and in the garage now. No, melt it. Burn, Burn it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh back when I was a kid, I also had a walker and I apparently me and my sisters, all three of us went down the stairs in the same walker, but ours had a roll cage on it. Nice. <laughs> like so you were just doing it for fun. A <laughs> thing that went over our heads. And yeah, our stairs are just the right length, similar to the, your situation where we'd literally do one roll and then land in the and just slide <laughs> no damage and he's like all three of you kids did it i'm like and it never occurred to you to put up a baby gate for <laughs> <laughs> like, is to change here. not to mention it seems like newer walkers have like a rubber pad in between the wheels so if the front wheels leave the edge of something that rubber hits and acts like a brake right oh that's genius interesting right 
Right. But yeah, people smart. since this one's, you know, from 100 years ago, <laughs> it doesn't it's have that. It's passed out, <laughs> That's awesome. I loved, I, I, in light of it, it, you were cracking jokes about him looking like a beluga whale. <laughs> I <laughs> see it. I freaking, I, just, uh, yeah. I, as sad as it was, dude, that made me laugh. But the funniest thing is you were like, when you were said, he was just trying to learn to fly or something like that. Dude, I cried laughing. I could not stop laughing. It was the funniest Jeez. thing. But, I had to make light of the moment. But yeah. I'm glad to hear that he's but, okay, man. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. scary. But uh, our terrifying. kids just quit hurting themselves for please. real. Cam like and Zach, any anything? actively trying to take themselves out, right? It's like they're suicidal. Yeah. They're like, you got to prevent them from hurting Gosh. themselves. Oh, I guess it's been a while. But Micah, within one week, ha- was supposed to get a stitch in her lip, burned her hand, and what else? There was something else that happened. It was all within like a few days. I'm like, okay, we need to like calm <laughs> down. <laughs> Because we had an ER trip like you, yeah, exactly what, like what you did, where she split her lip, Sucks. and they were like, we could give her some stitches, but the trauma of like the shot plus the needles, that that might be worse than... Then give her the like nose stuff? I don't... Dude, they uh, made Scarlet like sniff something. That's the platinum plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I guess. But man, our kids just need to calm down. What about you, Zach? Sorry, I don't know if you were going to share something. I got nothing. No, yeah, you, yeah do. you do. Yes, you do. The cops showed up to your house, a lawyer. Oh, that's stupid. Wait, what no, happened? No, no, no. We need to milk yes. this story. Very good. This is just is as still... big as, as Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. This Amber, is uh, Amber Turd. You mean? Amber Turd. <laughs> is this about the dog? Yeah, yes. dude. Like from forever ago? That from we a year about? ago. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes. Okay, go. I'm ready. This is great. So. <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned this, but back two days before Christmas, I got a letter in the mail from this lady. The lady that got hit, like the lady the that dog got bit by my after. dog. Okay, yes. okay. The the lady that the dog brushed up against and AKA attacked. <laughs> the lady and who and stuck her hand in the dog. LeBron mouth. James did. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Oh, she did. Oh, one hundred percent. So give a turd. super brief, uh, quick like sino- or, uh, so quick summary sense of it. So basically, I was in the backyard mowing my lawn. My five-year-old daughter went to the front yard because that's where I was looking for me. I wasn't there. She went inside, left our door open. Well, in the meantime, my boxer got out, and he was just roaming around the front yard. Went over to my neighbor's house, and he's he's very antsy, so he gets a little aggressive around new people. And Excited or aggressive? A little bit of both. Uh-huh. I don't, Maybe anyways. defensive? Yeah, defensive. Not necessarily aggressive. Yeah. So he went over, and he was the owner was over there, and uh, there was this older guy, and he kind of started going towards him, but he sprayed him with his hose, and my dog walked away. And, and then this lady came over to my house to tell us that, hey, our dog was out. So she goes and rings on her doorbell, and then my daughter's in my garage yelling at you know my dog to come inside. So he comes booking it. By this time, she walks down the stairs. She's by my truck. He goes booking it in the garage, and then she starts walking towards my garage and talking to my daughter. And in the meantime, my dog turns around and gets a little defensive and barks at her. And she does the whole, like, gets all scared and antsy, and my dog just, it scared him. Meat. (laughs) And then the funny thing afterwards, though, is, is, I mean, he, he nipped her, and, you know, but then she started screaming bloody murder, and he walked up to her and started licking her. (laughs) <laughs> like, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. No, I didn't get you. I didn't even give you my right. best bite. I was caught wrong. up in the moment there for a second. I'm sorry. sorry. I was like a little <laughs> kiss. Things got know. heated. <laughs> I'm sorry. We both did things we, we regret. Done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, anyways, yeah, she goes out to her. She had part. She drove her car over from next door, of all things. And so That's she because goes, gas prices weren't what they are. Now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> and uh, so she's sitting on the front of her car in front of my house, and she's screaming bloody murder. And my n- two neighbors come walking over, and I'm in the backyard, and I, I'm going to, so I'm, I'm bagging my grass, and I go to dump my grass out in my garbage up front. And all of a sudden, I see her leaning up against her car, and I was like, what? And I turn my music off, and I just hear her scream and blame her. I need an ambulance. Send an ambulance immediately. I've been bit by a dog, and my just heart dropped. Figure out where Thor's at, anything. You know, uh, long, long story short, please show up. Ambulance show up. 
she's crying, um, all this stuff. And the ambulance, basically, they bandage her up, and she's like, well, I need to be taken to the hospital. She wants an, e- she wants an ambulance right now. Right. And they were like, no, this is like a scratch. Just go home, clean the wound. Because they even asked me, they said, is he updated on his shots? And I said, yes, provided all the proof. They're like, go home. It, it just go if it gets infected over the weekend, or even if you still don't feel right about it, go see it. Go to an Instacare. Go see your doctor on Monday. And anyways, I, I mean, in my head, it's like a brief scratch, but is there like actual drawn blood or like? There how was drawn blood. Talking? There was blood well, leaking like, down. But I mean, it was a hot day, and she just got done running too, so her blood's already pumping. Mm. Um, but was it just like a puncture, just like a little puncture, or what? I looked at it. It didn't look bad at all. Huh. But she went to the ER room anyways, and she got three stitches out of it. She did. Did she do it herself? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, when I looked at it, honestly, I didn't think she needed that at all. I think, like, honestly, a little super glue or you know something like that would be just fine. She's like, (laughs) you don't need stitches, but could you? But well, Well, I mean, we could, but you don't really need it. But I want them. Could you stitch it? Yes, we could. Okay, let's do that. Let's stitch it. (laughs) Well, then. I think I need anesthesia too while you do it, please. (laughs) Can you put me under? Morphine? (laughs) You got morphine. (laughs) Well, and that's then after all this is said and done, um, I get basically a court order to go to court at the end of August. Right. Because I had city fines to pay for. And I wanted to talk to the, uh, the city attorney about some stuff to try to get some things taken off. So anyways, I show up. This happened middle of June. I show up end of August. We go over through the things. He drops some charges, all this other stuff. And then he provides a couple medical bills and says, hey, would you mind just paying, um, what's the word, um, restitution Right. Um, with these medical bills? And I said, yep, that's, if that's a part of it, that's a part of it. He goes, yep, that's, that's what we're asking. And I said, okay, great. It was like $30 for one and then um, another $30 for something else. And I was like, okay. And he goes, we're also waiting on a emergency room bill. And I was like, she went to the emergency room and he goes, yeah. And I said, she was told not to go to the emergency room. And he's like, well, she still went. Right. Um, so, and I was like, okay. And I said, how much is that bill? And he goes, well, she hasn't turned it in and she's not here today to provide any reason as to why he's like, so if you're okay with it, let's just settle on $50. And I'm like, great. Right. That sounds wonderful. And so we settled the bucks. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and so we, we settled on that. And, um, so I paid my paid my restitution, paid my fines, all that stuff. So here we are, August. Fast forward to December 23rd. I get a letter in the mail from her and with an ER bill for $950 ah! asking me to pay it. Well, they were in town. Mind you, this lady lives out of town. She, mm. Her parents live next door to me. And this is like a 65-year-old woman, too. Let me remind you of that. <laughs> And, uh, a woman who's doing this to you, yes. like suing you. So yes. your dog beats elderly people. Yes. Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so basically, the only reason she had a scratch is because her skin is old as dirt. paper thin, <laughs> <laughs> frail. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, man, <laughs> preaching to the choir. <laughs> the, wind, the wind is too heavy. It's to gonna just, oh, ouch! Oh my. <laughs> but um, so I, I saw that they were in town. So I walked over and I said, "Hey, I just got this letter in the mail." Um, I, I don't know what you want me to do. And she goes, well, if you wouldn't mind taking care of it. And I said, <laughs> I would mind. I said, well, I, I kind of do. I said, well, how do you want me to take care of it? And she goes, well, um, you can just give me the cash for it. You can write me out a check, whatever you want to do. And I said, no, no. I said, I, I don't. I said, it's two days before Christmas. I said, I don't, I don't have a thousand dollars to just say, here you go. And she's like, well, that's your problem because this is your <laughs> problem to pay with. And I said, No, I said, I said, I'll tell you what, what we can do is let's come down and meet in the middle. I said, um, I already talked to, um, my, uh, attorney, uh, uh, no, not attorney, my, my homeowner's insurance. And basically they said, as long as it's under a thousand dollars, I'm not going to have to pay any claims on it. I'm not going to have to do this. It's not going to, my rates might go up by maybe 10 bucks for three years, if that. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, if you don't mind, I said, let's just go through the insurance. And she goes, great. When are you going to call them and submit the claim? And I said, again, no, you have all the information. You have the ER bill. You have everything. I said, you need to call my insurance and provide a claim. She goes, no, no, I'm not going to do that. Legally, I cannot do that. 
And I said, well, well, can you explain to me why? And she goes, no, I'm not telling you why. She goes, legally, I just cannot do that. So you need to do this for me. And I said, okay. I said, well, this is where we're going to come to a crossroads because I'm not going to do it. I said, if you want this paid, you can do it. You are well within your legal right to do so. And I said, so I hope to hear from my insurance in the next couple of weeks. If I do, you know, we'll go ahead and go with this. And she goes, nope, I'm not going to do it. And I said, well, then neither am I. And she goes, great, you'll hear from my lawyer. And I said, okay. And then she tried to rip the piece of mail away from me. And I said, no. I said, that's that's my mail. Yeah. And I said, so if you want me to, I'll call the police right now and they can get that back for me because that is legit my mail. Call and, the feds on that one. And uh, so she she gave it back and I kept it all. And now here we are, fast forward, six months mm. and literally two weeks before the statute of limitations hits on the thing and she can't do anything. Um I get a call from a lawyer stating that he wants my insurance information to process a claim. And I told him flat out, I said, uh, I, I was kind of rude to the guy and I apologized to him. And I said, I know you're just doing your job. And I said, I'm sorry if I sound like an ass right now. I said, but your client is a complete bitch. <laughs> 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 Off and, the record. <laughs> and he just kind of was like, Oh, Oh, okay. And he said, well, she said you're a really upstanding guy. Like you have, there's been no issues at all. Like she said, I could just call you up and get the information from you. And I said, well, she's wrong. I was like six months ago, I gave her all this information. I said, so why are you calling me? And he's like, I I'm just doing what my client has asked. And I said, I get that. I said, but I gave her all of this six months ago. I said, I even sent her a letter in the mail to her home in South Carolina with all this information stating who my insurance was, who my insurance agent was, who she needs to call, the phone numbers, everything. And I said, so again, why are you involved? And he's like, I don't know. She just reached out to me and she wants to get involved. And I said, well, great. I'm not giving you my information over the phone. And he's like, so you're refusing to give me information? And I said, I'm not refusing. He's like, because I, c I can go other ways of getting this information. And I said, then why are you calling me? If you have other ways of getting this information, then... I don't need you, sir. I said, then, then don't need me. I said, then go that route. Go get your information another way. Oh, Tony. Come on, guys. This is your first date? Come on. <laughs> Both of you. But, um, I'm used to mine being on do not disturb. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to turn it off. So I, I told him, though, I said, I, I'm keeping a paper trail. I said, I don't trust this lady as far as I can throw her. I said, she's made my life a living hell over the past year. I said, so I, I'm asking a paper trail. I said, so if you want any information from me, I need a written response from you requesting this information. And he said, and then what are we going to do from there? Are you going to go ahead and give me the information? I said, I don't know. So I'm, I'm talking. <laughs> I don't know. Give it a try. Yeah, I said, I'm, See what I'm talking to a lawyer right now too. And I said, this is where we want to go from here. He goes, okay, I'll send a written explanation. And I said, also, I want to know um, what you guys are filing a claim on and how much money. And uh, he was like, well, I, I can't give you that information. Legally, I don't need to. And I said, okay. And I said, how do I get that information? He goes, well, if you allow us to file a claim through your insurance, your insurance can give you that information. And I said, it's okay. A drop. I, and I flat told him on the phone. I said, great. I said, I know how much the ER bill is. And I said, I know how much this claim is for. And I said, if it's anything over that, I said, I'm not paying. I refuse. I am not. And I said, and I won't let my insurance cover it either. And he goes, okay, I guess we'll, uh, we'll cover that road when it comes down to it. Film well, froggy leap. Well, so I, 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 nope, could, nope, I could end nope. up in court. Everything, I everything's could. fine over here. Everything's fine. We'll cross that road when we get to it. Yep. Right, Peter Griffin? I still don't, I don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, she was trespassing. Yes. Yes. So how is this even at all a thing? Because my Ask dog... Tony. Because my dog... <laughs> Tony was, was trespassing. That was why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, because your dog was what? Unleashed. Yeah. On your property? Still, he was out front unleashed. But you on your property? On your property. <laughs> but you went to court and fulfilled But I went to court and yeah, I settled that. I even told that's that to the, the guys, thing. to the lawyers. I said, we've already covered this. And he goes, oh, you have? Yeah. And I said, yeah. I said, I can get all that information if you need me to. And he goes, no. And he goes, that's, I just, I just want your insurance information right now. See, because you went to court on the day you were supposed to, and she didn't even show up. She didn't show up. I mean, granted, she might have been out of town. But there problem. was this bill that she wants paid. She never provided it to the corpse. 
She, I, to the corpse? Corpse. Corpse. <laughs> to the courts. That's the, the bridge we're going to cross later. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this yeah. just got hey, interesting. Hey, hey, let's, let's just say, time's on your side. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> very, got long enough. It's, it's very true. It's long enough, and then your problem just disappears. You said South Carolina, there's some strong winds down there. <laughs> the sad thing How is... How old do you think 65 is? <laughs> it's like the new 45. <laughs> it's like ancient, bro. That's my point. Yeah. <laughs> Cam thinks it's like 95. Right? Now. I mean, I'm just saying. You just flip that six over. No. The sad thing... Thing is, is if he would have like called me, <laughs> if he would have called me on June thirteenth, I could have literally said, "No, nope, it's past its time. I I don't have to do anything." Then you, why did you answer your phone, you fool? I didn't. He left you, me a voicemail. Turn off all voicemail. You fill it up. You talk to us. We call your phone fifty million times till your voicemail is full. <laughs> he can't leave a message. You don't answer the phone till June fourteenth. This it's is actually, a hindsight thing. <laughs> Just no, say, we, this is my no, lawyer's number. You can go ahead and talk to him from now on. The hard thing is, is if they're documenting they, their side too. Well, that's fine. We go to court and it's all documented Should that they try to get me number. beforehand. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is I did call a guy and I was like, I, when I did talk to him, I was like, why are you trying to ask me over the phone anyways? I said, you're lucky I even got my voicemail. I said, my kids have my phone all the time and they could have easily just deleted it. And he goes, well, normally we would send out a letter and all that stuff. He goes, but like I said, she said you were a really upstanding guy and all I needed to do is just call you and you'd give me the information over the Sounds phone. Sounds crafty. And I told them, I said, uh, you, this is your first time because I ain't going to lawyer. give any information like that over the phone he's to just some random lawyer. person. Is right. your name Bob Blah Blah? <laughs> <laughs> he identifies as a lawyer. <laughs> so, well, this is get fun. I got I gotta, oh, boy. Probably a couple more weeks, a few more weeks of this old crap. <laughs> Sweet, more stories. I can't wait, dude. I love stay this. Stay tuned. <laughs> I love this stuff. Yeah, stay that tuned because so it's going to get interesting. Uh, I, I'm praying I go to court over same this. Same bat time, same bat channel. I, seriously, if and if I do go to court, I might I might legit counter sue. Do, do it. it. Especially do when it. you already do settled. It. Like, right? I don't see where the fight yeah, is even at. how can it be a thing? So the only thing she can settled. do, I did ask the, the city prosecutor, I said, I know an ER bill's not $50. I said, what if it ends up being like 800 and she comes after me for the rest? And he said, he goes, that's, that's up to a, a civil lawsuit. He goes, she just have to take it a, to small claims court. The funny civilly. thing is, is right. no matter what she gets out of this, it's not going to recoup the cost of the lawyer fees. Well, what I'm scared of is this lawyer is going to go after my insurance for right. his fees. Right. Uh, and that's where I'm going to tell my insurance company, and I'll even tell him you can call my insurance agent, because I told him back in, I called him back in July, like June or July about this, told him he might hear something. I called him again in December, said, you still might hear something. And so he's known about it, and I'm, I'll fly out and tell my insurance, this lady had all the information she had every right to. So if now we're coming after lawyer fees and all that stuff, like I, you need to deny this 100% and I'll go to court. Hmm. Cause it's, it's absolute BS. I don't think there should be anything. If it's just straight up the ER bill, I'll have no problem. I'll tell my insurance, just do it. Get rid of this lady. Be gone. Defamation. Demon be gone. But <laughs> yeah. Like a good neighbor. Zach is here. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> 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 that video, though, you show us a video. You could tell she flopped hard. Oh, yeah, she did. So you got that, too. Oh, just yeah. oh there's did. a video? Oh, yeah. I can't From remember if we saw How come I, I haven't seen the video? video. Yeah. I never saw this video. Yeah. I think we did, but I Live can't reaction. remember. <laughs> Do you still have it? Uh, somewhere. Nice. It's not on my phone anymore. But LeBron James did. Yeah, oh, yeah. I love oh, yeah. that comparison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember it, dude. In my oh, head. it! I it was bad. Like she, like I said, she screamed bloody murder. One of my neighbors across the street, he heard it and he thought someone got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> and he came running out and he's like, "What is going on?" So if you had a fence in your front yard, and the dog was out there unleashed, and someone got bit by it. Then that would be on them because they came into a fenced area. Mm. Sound about sounds like some bullshit to me. <laughs> that, did Cam wow. just swear? Did you did? Swear? Wow! I, was, I'm <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought you you 
<laughs> you did. Like, you see, this crap makes me so guys, mad. You just witnessed history. Uh, <laughs> literally, you just. I've it. only ever witnessed Kevin score twice. <laughs> I, I, heard, I heard him <laughs> drop the f bomb <laughs> one time. Once. Oh, oh, I remember that. I was there for that. that it was, was monumental. Was a, I don't think I was, I was talking I was about there an for X, that. I think. It was, just, right? Talking about an ex. Yeah. I used that bomb. Yep. I was yep. there for Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. I've witnessed uh-huh. both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I just feel for you, and it pisses me it off. Does. It does. Super happy it's, suckers. It's, it's like, you step on my property, and I don't want you there. You're lucky if you don't catch I wonder some if she's lead. trying to get. She's probably going to try to get pain and suffering. She's probably going to try to... Her retirement didn't quite make it for her. So yeah, she's, something. I don't, I don't know. But no, nah, she comes off as the type that's living off the government anyway. Mm. Sucking on that's the government That's not the government, teat. though. That's us. Just well, so, the, you know. But I mean, she's living off I've us. heard, like my boss told me, um, she, I can't remember who in her family, one of her family members has a neighbor where that's literally how they make their living is suing people. And they find the stupidest things to yep. sue. Oh, it pisses me off. And that's how they make their living. Yep. Really? Yeah. Tell you what. So you they're want, out there. If I, you want I, yeah. insurance rates to go down, stop suing people for stupid crap. Because yeah. they have to get the money back somehow. Yeah. You think they're just pulling money out of nowhere? They're. Well, nowadays. What? Okay. What? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I was thinking if I could get your situation out is very <laughs> nope, similar. That's all you get. Right? Yeah. But like, like I, you were a kid, you hopped a fence to get a, so, yeah, a my, ball? No, uh, my sister's cat was in the tree. My sister's cat was in my neighbor's tree. There was a dog chained. Dog stepped on a beat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the dog was on a chain. In the backyard. So, like, it was leashed. Yeah. It was in the yard, fenced in yard. I hopped the fence, but uh, somehow we had a settlement. I And, like, I don't know the details of it, honestly. You had a good lawyer. <laughs> you Something did. Like so that. you need a good lawyer. Because that, <laughs> that same thing happened. My brother, He one of the neighbor kids kicked a ball in his backyard, and he jumped the fence, and his dog didn't know who he was and snipped at him. Right, And then the mom showed up later that day and started yelling at my brother and said, you know, you need to pay for the medical bills. You know, we took him to the doctor and blah, blah, blah. And my brother was like, what? And he goes, he has been in the backyard all day long. He goes, how did he? And then the kid was right there and the mom turned around and said, did you go in the backyard? And he goes, well, well, yeah, I kicked the ball back there. And she goes, you got to be kidding me. Because I guess he lied to the mom uh, and yeah, told the mom something else. <laughs> and and my brother was like, you know what? He's like, I'm sorry. He's like, he could have came and knocked on my door. Someone's home all the time. We could have got the ball for him. He's like, oh, I'm not paying for a single thing. And she goes, yep, nope, I agree. And she turned around and walked away. Well, that's a good mom. So Our lady. <laughs> Take responsibility. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> Take ownership of your mistake. Cam, Cam's so frustrated. I'm so right. irritated. Dude, you got like, a vein popping out. <laughs> He's so mad. Trust Cam, me. do you have any news? Ah, freak. No, I don't have anything. Mm. Not that I can think of. Nothing crazy happened. <laughs> Scarlett put super glue on her lips, but look, she, <laughs> she didn't close them, so she's just like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And she's like, hey, hey, and they're like, what? <laughs> she's like, hey, and like, what's wrong with you? And I go in the bedroom and there's suit like nail glue, and I'm like, did you pull this on your lips? And she's like, like hey, and I'm like, why? Looks like Dave Chappelle when he does the crack jokes because <laughs> it's all oh dried up. Oh my god! And I'm just like, why do you do these things? It's a good thing she didn't close her lips. That would have been hilarious. It's like on bad. It's like on House of Wax. Uh-huh. When Ugh. I took like I took like Ugh. acetone, like nail polish remover, and put it on like a cotton swab and like wiped her hands down because she had a bunch on her hands. <laughs> and then I tried to get her lips, and I was like, Ah, you're fine. <laughs> Your lips are just gonna like, look really it, like, chapped. Hardened, yeah. So it just looked real chapped. Right. I was like, I'm, Oh, that would drive me nuts. <laughs> I'd be biting at my lips. I can't and... even have it on my fingers. I mean, no, yeah. same, same. I can't. Dude, I still it, like, I have my, my favorite palm sweat just thinking about it. My current it. favorite jacket has a slight little like piece of glue on it. Uh-huh. Every time I wear the jacket, it drives me nuts, and I play with it. And it pisses, <laughs> I'm like, Rah! I cannot get it Gosh. off. I freaking hate it. But that, that's the kind dude, of stuff that, that scares kid. me about our next house. Is this house our living space is very limited? Uh-huh. So I can keep an eye on my kids. 
95% of the day. Mm. But you get into a bigger house where it's like they can go upstairs to their room or do something. It's like all of a sudden go down the stairs <laughs> right? in a walker. Yeah. And, all of a sudden the possibilities just, are endless. Just know right. when it gets really quiet. That's Dude. usually you better not be when the bad stuff happens. <laughs> Scarlett is 100 percent that kid. The second it's quiet, I'm like, F, where is she? <laughs> like, what is she doing? Like she finds things in the house that I haven't been able to find for like five years. Right. <laughs> And I'm like, how the freak did you find this? Kelsey <laughs> was our first. Brindley and Jude growing up, we didn't even have to put child locks on anything. We could just trust that they would just play with their toys or watch a movie. Never had to worry about it. And then Kelsey comes along. But you yeah. guys lived in your condo for Bryn. For Bryn. What and about Jude? Did Jude, were you in your Roy house? We moved into our Roy house when Jude was one. So, okay. yeah, he was okay. there for most of his current life gotcha. alden is at the stage where he goes through all my tools and everything and makes inventions and uses them <laughs> oh. like he made like a he tied a rope around like a, one of my um pair of pliers and he threw it up in the tree and was trying to climb the tree with it i was yeah. like you little Dude, that's Batman. something i would have done <laughs> <laughs> invented it little bugger <laughs> One day he's on your roof. How'd you get up there? (laughs) He's like, battery! (laughs) He's got his pliers with a rope. It's like MacGyver. The other day (laughs) I was like, one morning I was like, you know, Scarlett's awake, but she's quiet. So I look on the camera in the room, and she's sitting on top of the dresser trying to eat Kaylee's, like, clay sculpture that she thought was food. So I see her, like, put it in her mouth, and she's like, (laughs) <laughs> and I spit it out and I'm like what are you doing <laughs> and then yes two days ago it's like it's like almost midnight and she's laying in bed and like we, we think she's asleep I go in down the hall to the kitchen and I see that their door's closed and we don't close their door at night Uh-oh. oh man and I'm like what the heck so I I walk up and I open the door she's not in her bed she's nowhere in the room I'm like this house is tiny. Where the freak could she be? And I'm looking around. All of a sudden, she pops up out of her, like, stuffed animals. <laughs> she was, like, hiding almost. She pops up, and she is covered every inch of skin with black marker. Oh. <laughs> She's like, hey, surprise. I'm like, what? Is, what? Where did you find the marker? Was it Sharpie? Luckily, no. I've gotten oh. rid of every freaking Sharpie in the house. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dry erase marker. Oh. So easy to clean, but it's all over her face. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even cleaning you up. You go to bed. <laughs> it's midnight. I'm tired. That would have <laughs> freaked me out. Dude, it was so it's funny because like, I'm like, pitch, this like pitch black <laughs> thing popping up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Little creature, and I'm like, I'm kick t- her out the window, man. <laughs> totally unrelated, but this totally reminded me of a story. Back when I, in my early drinking days, we had that stupid game where, like, first to pass out with their shoes on got right. markered on their face. So this guy passes out with his shoes on on the couch, and we go to town. We're drawn all over his face, all over, you know, and so. Party keeps going. We keep drinking anyway. Night comes, and uh, we end up just sleeping there because you know we weren't gonna drive, and uh, and I, I want to say like eight o'clock rolls around in the morning, and his alarm goes off on his phone, and he looks at his alarm. He's like, <gasps> and he gets to the white eye. He's like, I'm gonna be late for work. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh no! Oh. He, he gets up, runs out the door. That literally never checks anything. <laughs> oh no! Goes all the way to work, and I'm like, I'm like, oh god, what did we just do? What was, that, what was on his face? I can't recall, <laughs> but I'm also pleading there had the to be fifth. At least uh, one wiener. I was gonna say, was, it a, was it a I, penis? I know there was at least one penis. <laughs> I don't with, know. with the fun bag. Yes, and I and had some kind of profanity. You know it. I plead the fifth for whatever else was on there, but man, to be a fly sure on the wall at his work. <laughs> God. But night, especially, especially <laughs> if you worked in any type of like construction or garage he or did. anything like he that. Did. Yeah. He showed up. Oh, that. Honestly, I feel like it'd be better if it was like a <laughs> suit and tie kind of right? job. The jokes are better, though, in a construction Oh, scene. for yeah. sure. Right. For sure. And they never end. 
Nope. Anyway, about an hour passes. He pulls back up, comes in. He's like, well, I can't go into work until this is washed off and it ain't coming off. <laughs> Jeez. So, yeah, I'm sure they're still laughing about it. That's but. awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so I totally kicked that <laughs> random memory. I think you have a changeling. My child? Yes. <laughs> no. I don't want one of those creepy creatures. I mean, she's act, always creepy. It's par for the course, man. Did you know me as a child? I was going to say, as far as uh, I'm concerned, she's just a mini you. Re- so. She really is. Were you like that as a kid? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> as a, well, because like, I was uh, just super energetic, super curious, wanted to be part of everything and anything <laughs> all over the place. And like, she looks just like you, too. So, yeah. So does it Way change. Way cuter. Like- so that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it. What'd you say? A changeling. Oh, a changeling. Yeah. Changeling. Aren't they like children of, they're like fairies, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. The Depends on what place. They come and snatch your they children. Trolls. And switch. Yeah, Chain- it's a scary movie too, by the way. Yeah, it is. Is There's it? There's a lot of them. Done back in like the eighties. Huh? Horrifying. Scary. It is like one of the worst. Oh, dude, <laughs> it is horrifying. <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. honestly it's probably one of the best horror movies I've seen. Huh. Is it uh, one of those like eighties movies that goes over the top with all the gore and all that? No, no. there's no gore. Oh, oh, so it, it's intense. Oh. It's, it it's is. A, I like it's intense. Just, it's intense, creepy. It's kind of like The Omen. Mm. If you ever saw no. the original Omen, absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Minus, nope, I don't deal with demons, but, but it's yet. minus the devil. Shut it's did not you ever satanic. see the like kind of funny version that was on uh, Netflix? The Omen. Yeah. No. Yeah, it was like this guy. He, it was like his, uh, he was marrying the, this woman and it was her son. And the kid was like the straight up the child of Satan. And he was the stepdad. And like Little throughout Nikki? the movie, no, no, no. Throughout the movie, he's sitting here telling, like saying this kid is the child of Satan. Everyone's like, no, it's, you're just transitioning to be a stepdad. It's difficult, blah, blah, blah. Well, then throughout the movie, it turns out he is the son of Satan. Huh. And like he's like, we have to destroy him. And like <laughs> it is it was a random Netflix show, like straight on okay. the Netflix, and it was freaking hilarious. Huh. I don't yeah. even remember I just randomly found it watching it. I was like, this is great. Nice. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. It's oh, so man. funny. Has Evangeline Lily in it? Oh really? Oh really? Yeah, she's the okay. mom. That's the girl from uh, Walking Dead, right? No. No. Uh, oh. she's, she's Wasp. Wasp um, and she's also from Lost. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Plays, I can't remember who she plays in Lost. She's the, she's the main girl the in main Lost. The main chick. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. She's in The Hobbit. Yeah, yeah, she's in The Hobbit. Yep, yep, yep. Who's the girl I'm thinking of? In Walking Dead? The, the blonde? girl oh, who plays Maggie? Oh, yeah, Maggie. Maggie. Um, she's the British girl. I can't remember her name. I remember her name, yeah. No worries. I well, she left and tried to do that spinoff show, that one show, that cop, buddy cop kind of show, and it bombed hardcore, and then she came back. Yeah. Huh. You need Man. to watch Lost, by the way. I've never seen it. There's only so many hours in the day. True. In other news, Depp won his uh, deposition against yeah. Amber. Yes. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Amber Turd. He Amber won, Turd. He won, he won $15 million and had to pay $2 million. Yep. Right. So he got 13 13 He's Net not getting it. He's not getting it. He's no money. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they'll, like, garnish her wages or something? That's, uh, that's one of the things. I was watching some... The day that they came down with a verdict, I was watching this thing, and they were talking about that. It's like, what if they can't pay? Like, they literally have no money. And that's one of the things they can do is garnish her wages, um, if she ever... payment plans, things like that. But, yeah, how is she going to work? I, I honestly think he's just happy to have one. Yeah, I don't think he cares about the away. money at all. Yeah. 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 It's not like he needs it. Well, not even that. He's just, I mean, you have to have a dollar amount. And uh, he probably just, said that much to make it saying this is serious. Yeah. yeah. You know, there just better be some people apologizing to him now. Oh, yeah. I'm curious what his movie career will do now, if it'll bounce back. It or... will. It's Johnny Depp. Yeah. Hope yes. so. What was the last thing he was in? Was it? I want to say it was Fantastic Beasts. Fantastic Beasts? Beast? Yeah. Crimes of Grindelwald. Someone yep. was saying that Depp should sue Disney. And I was like, mm, heck yeah. That would be interesting. And Warner Brothers. Yeah. Sue them both. Pick them down. But it's, I mean, depends on where they're based. It's a right to work state. They can yeah. fire you for any reason. So. But isn't it California? Is that where Disney's based out of? I don't know. I feel like you know, it I, it's be. not a right to work state. It's, <laughs> I yeah, exactly. I think we've, we've said it before. It's, it's, 
unfair of what they did to Johnny Depp and that they didn't do the same thing to Amber Heard. Mm. But at the same time, I don't blame companies for doing that because, um, what was it, a few years ago, Hulk Hogan came out. He had a racial slur against his girlfriend or his daughter's boyfriend, Mm. I think, or talking in a locker room. I can't remember what it was, but he, he made some type of racial slur. And it came out, and at the time he was with WWE on a Legends contract, mm. and they like wiped the floor with him. They basically said your contract released. Anything to do with Hulk Hogan on their website, like they erased, mm. and basically said go take care of yourself, and we're away. And then as soon as everything came back, I think he won that lawsuit. Um, <laughs> WWE hired back on, and did he, he came actually say racial slur? Or is it some like no? Was it, how was it, it, how was will we stretch? ever know? I think I, I can't remember exactly what it was happened. An allegation? No, I they had him on tape saying oh. it, oh. but it was how it was recorded. So it might have been taken it, out of context. It was something, or something out of context, or it was. I, I can't how was it fully recorded remember. in the first place? Like who goes into a place and just starts recording? I don't know. I, I wish. Okay, I let's could, talk about random crap, but real quick. I just say <laughs> okay, I, go. So I that know. son-in-law of yours, kind of a douche, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it could even been something as it was recorded but he didn't know he was being recorded huh and I, which is illegal in california yes. right both parties have to know yeah. yes utah you don't nope. yeah utah not only a problem one, only one has to know only i need to know so i i honestly don't know what it was but i know if i remember right he did walk away clean of that one but hey hmm. real quick i got a random question i sent out that van to you guys Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. I what do, do you it. think yeah what I'll do real it. Talk. I'll take it. what oh and that i couldn't pull it up dude, because i'm not a sweet. part of that group on facebook does it have enough oh. seat belts it dude, long- <laughs> oh, I don't, yeah i didn't see it i legit I found this about. 1994 <laughs> van yeah. That had like the captain's chairs that swivel 360 yeah that's, that. that's, that's Bro, all. chairs that turn to a bed let me see no it doesn't show it oh you just get to the group page and that's it. Oh, oh gotcha. It's one of those old ones with like the, the curtains that close and like the oh, velvet the back, chairs. The back thing yeah. lays down. Yep. Oh, yep. dude, I love those vans. And it's got the, the captain's chairs yep. front right. and mid that yep. can all rotate. Do you have a pull dude, up, Chris? It was I'm getting it. It was oh, thirty five hundred bucks. It? I was able to pull it up. We could buy it had seventy thousand original miles. <gasps> that's it. Runs elegantly, the guy says. We could use it dude, for the podcast. Are, those vans were dude, dude, that's good. I'll go in on that. I responded to you. I said, let's do it. I know. It. I dude, said, hey, yeah. stupid what not we do, to. we do a tour around the freaking country and we, we podcast on the way somewhere, podcast on location. Yeah, it'd be great. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't that be so dope? That would be awesome. I think it would be and so... Zach had a place to sleep. Right? <laughs> no. I think it would be so rad to hire a chauffeur for the day and we podcast while just driving around. Could you imagine <laughs> we hit like a pothole and we're like... Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Real time. Nice country road. <laughs> I think that would be sweet. <coughs> I think I said my Ventura exact too. comment was... Dude, I love those vans. You'd be stupid not to. Yeah, that's true. It was. Dude, we could trick it out, put our faces all over it. Dude, it'd be Dude. so rad. What would you name it? You're the king at naming vans. Oh, Stacy three. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's only one Stacy. Oh, what was the other the one? The crowd Kelly. assault vehicle. Oh, Stacy and Kelly. <laughs> it has to be after another world a diva, right? I'll find me a diva. No. Give me a minute. <laughs> was, wait, was the one Kelly after Kelly Kelly? Yes, it was. <laughs> okay. What about what about Trish? Fives a crowd on four wheels. We'll see. We'll see. Trish Trish status. The what? We'll have to get a fifth wheel somewhere. Fives a crowd on four wheels. Pretty on the nose. I think well, it's it right rad. on the nose. That's awesome. <laughs> right on the nose. Right. Everybody's like, oh, I bet we there's put five our little people faces on the wheels. And they're so on like, four ah! wheels. <laughs> 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 we seize it. Which one of us is the hood ornament? <laughs> no, you got the bubbly eyes on our eyes. So as yes. it's spinning, then when it stops, the Every eyes are just spin. still going. <laughs> I've also been trying to think of ways that we can. I mean, uh, that pothole, it's on the side. Uh, like, yeah, right. I've also been thinking of ways that we could also just make our podcast completely left field from everyone else. Right. And I was like, what if we did stupid things like we went golfing? 
But like we each had like a mic, like a one of those a lavalier on. mics huh. uh-huh. that just went into a recorder. So we were all five being recorded while we were doing something stupid. That podcast with golfing would be one hundred percent explicit. It would warning. just be Zach <laughs> passing. <laughs> It might that, be Cam's third. Is, is that what no, I don't cuss with a golf. I, I just have fun. You have a golf. With I me. make other people cuss. Is that what I get to expect? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's tournament? what you're going to expect oh, when we play. Oh, man. No, here's what we do is we, we do it in the van. We record and everything, but we also have a loudspeaker on top of it. So we're just... Everybody's talk, hearing Everyone's talk. hearing everything we're saying <laughs> as, as we're legit. driving. That's legit. That's awesome. And I'm like, what is this? What, five's a crowd? Let's look that up. That would be so. It's like the um, in like Back to the yeah, Future. Back to the Future yeah. too. When the mayor, no, when the they're advertising one. for the mayor, and yep, they have the exactly. van driving around huh. town, just yep. Vote for. And we just have our but. faces plastered on it. Boom. And like we have an episode where we roast people driving next to us. Yep. We're just <laughs> like peeking out the like smoke the curtains, just like a crack. We're like, hey, you guy, I have a place you to doing? park it. Huh? I have a place to park it now. You do. Yeah. 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 Well, it's not. For sure, but I'm gonna let's keep our fingers crossed, dude. I'm just so gonna for me you're contingent, right? Yes, it is contingent. I, I th- yes, but I think it's gonna happen. Well, oh, let's man. just. We I thought think, ours was 100 percent until like literally the week. I don't closing. think it's I so. Like, I'm are not you kidding me. Yeah, it's not 100, percent but I think I, I think we're good. He's got high hopes. Listen, yeah. I played high it smart. Hopes. I played it smart by hiring the guy selling the house to do my house. So now he's like, oh, I can get two sales. I yeah, got two think, sales. I think he's got a lot on the line. He's got skin in the game. Yeah, with this yeah. sale. So skim. Man, good, good, good. Let's man. Do I, it. But yes, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. Yeah, and I'm not literally lie. week of when we were supposed to buy our house, we could not find insurance to insure the house. The roof was too old. Oh, jeez. It was 28 years old was the roof, and so no place that I called would insure it. So it was. Huh. So like, insure it for like a month, and I'll fix it. <laughs> exactly, right? and they were willing to do that, but the premium was so freaking high. It was the one place I called. They were like 60. I want to say it was like $6,400 for the month, for, for the year. Oh, but still like, it was like a $500 right. a month yeah. thing. I'm like, no, right. Not paying that. I'm literally getting the roof replaced. Could you redo it right after we move in or right before we move in? Right. Huh? That was on, yeah, that wasn't on this one, a, right? That was on another one. Yeah. The house the is mine. Right. The, house, the house that I have over right. there. Yeah, that yeah. how the roof's getting replaced on it. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. could you reevaluate the insurance after right. the insurance? Yeah, is and done? we can, we can, but I still just didn't want to pay that. Yeah, it's stupid. Front. That's yeah. stupid. they're just stealing your money at that yep. point. They are. Yeah, it's the point you, of the matter. You wish that you could get like, like a manual underwriter that could be like, hear your specific scenario and be like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, show me the invoice and show me the receipt that you paid it, and then yeah, we can. Yeah. 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 But anyway. I'm really good. That makes too much agent. sense. She yeah, it makes happen, way right? too much sense, right? <laughs> That's For you, they want to make that money. Yeah. Uh, Got to make that money. Gosh, man, at this point, I don't even know where this is an ask. Know, right? <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like I was like, this is, just, minutes. this is just news. Yep. Right. I mean, any S- other cool stay news? Tuned. I got sad news. What's your sad, sad news? Uh, hmm. My wife's grandma passed away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's super sad. First time my wife has had to deal with something like that, so it's been kind of hard. She hasn't lost There's anybody, no like, not like no that. grandparents, not wow. not since she's like when she was young, young. Oh yeah, oh. not to where she realizes gotcha. to a degree what's going on. So. How old was she? Yeah, yeah, she was old. No, she was she was older 80, than sixty five. She was like eighty six. <laughs> hey, you don't know that she was eighty six. 86. Things go down real fast. I know when uh, <laughs> I know when Jess's grandma passed, she was 90 all um, she was 99 turning 100 just a few months later. Dude, that's Dang. Yeah. yeah. But at that point like we like right. Is there an age I mean, 100 years. That's for a lot. years, for years they were century. expecting. Right. So, and she dude, she Is there an age that if you could life. just kind of like flip a switch and just be done, would you like say that was a good run? Yeah, 30, 35. Well, after, <laughs> after dealing with this, like if, they, if I get put on hospice, I'm going to go become a NASCAR driver. I think driver that's the thing, <laughs> is it doesn't matter what age it is. It's when you can't really do anything for yourself. Yeah. 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 You know, it's also real sad. Um, Justin Long, you listened to a uh-huh. couple of his podcasts. Um, I've been listening to a lot of his podcasts as well, and um, he 
was talking about in his earlier episodes talks about his grandma. His grandma lived to be like 104, 105, something like that. And he said up to, you know, pretty much like he even had her on the podcast. She sound like great. Like she was enjoying life and everything. But he said that he was saying that the saddest thing, cause she asked, he asked her like, what's the hardest thing about living this long? And she goes, I've seen all my friends die. Right. Yeah. And oh, she yeah. was just like, literally every friend I've had has died. And she's like, I'm just, kind of on my own now doomed yeah. to walk the planet alone. So, you and know, I it's... think that would be the most difficult part is, you know, it's not even like, great. I can live to be a hundred and feel great, but it's like, man, you're losing everybody in yeah. all your people you grew up it's with. Like Highlander. Friends. There can, there can be only, only one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tires cannot uh, they... defeat me. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing about, uh, Elsie, which, like I said, she was 99, but d- dude, she was still mobile even up to right. her last day. Like, that's cool. That'd Very be a good sharp way to go. as attack. Right. She literally, like, she lived the life. Like, she was great. See, and I've heard you always go, like, you start going downhill real quick is when you stop and you start sitting around a lot more yeah. and don't stay active. And oh, that's hell, when... I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, Elsie, even in her that's age, she was week. still doing her laundry. She was still right. out gardening at 99, dude. Yeah, that's cool. Friggin' wild. Hopefully that's me. Yeah, if I if I, I I don't know if I want to live that long, but if I do, I want to be active like I that. I could tell you right now that ain't gonna be me. No, sixty five or whenever I retire, bam, my butt is going in the couch and it's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> you know the. Uh... <laughs> Who was it that was just saying that about Chris the friends? Then he's just going to go from house to house. So many things through my head, none of them appropriate. I'm just going to keep he's, it to myself. He, he's just going to go house to house and hope a dog bites him. Yep, there we go. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. There we go. Lines. That's how I'll make my money. <laughs> that, that's go why she drove. Full circle. Yeah, just go full circle from that point. Yeah. And then I'll look at him and say, I, I, know, I, rub, I know the round's on this. He's going to rub like meat juice on him. <laughs> <laughs> just run through the neighborhood. All these, all these dogs come at him. <laughs> <laughs> Can't walk. You, 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 info. Now. I picture, <laughs> picture it's like gonna open all the comedy where he's got these dogs like hanging off of him, just biting, and they're just I just like, picture him running like Jack Sparrow. He cases the neighborhood, finds ones with all these small dogs. Get away, foul face. Like, I don't want it to be that bad, but soon. I don't want you to bite me. Like, oh, come on. You got better than that. Break skin, at least. <laughs> come on. Come on. Deep on that one. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of uh, Lisa's grandma, I had a memory that I think it was uh, last October. Uh huh. You guys had the pumpkin painting thing out in your guys, or the pumpkin carving thing out in your garage. Okay, yeah. And we showed up, and I totally put my foot in my mouth, dude. Unintentionally. Just came out of the left field. There was this walker, and I was like, Oh, you guys got a walker too? <laughs> like I thought it was a Halloween prop. <laughs> and Jess like nudges me. She's like, I'm like, oh, it's your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates it. Oh, you guys that. got an old lady too? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, they got a prop. We can use that. <laughs> Was where my mind went because uh, we have one out in the garage. Back uh, when, remember when we did that episode where we dressed uh, as old men? Yes. Yeah, that was, that's, that's right. Big, we went and bought those at the DI. That's where my mind went. I was like, <laughs> "Oh, that's clearly what that is." Her grandma was there. Old people uh, are a myth. <laughs> no, we just had her walker. Oh no, no, she was there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she was there. No, I was talking about. Yeah. 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 I think you, <laughs> out of the five of us, are the is the one that has the open mouth insert oh, foot type yeah, thing. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. But it's so innocent, That's though. That's, that is, is the best is. part. Yeah, it's so innocent. It's like when a little kid says something and the parents get embarrassed. That's know. Austin. It's Austin's just, our it's little kid. It's just that kid. his mouth moves faster than his eyes. It's true. Like, mm. it, it's the still. The he just, he's like tunnel vision on one thing. He's like, I see something. Not see me. something. And then eyes move. And he's like, ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> but it also doesn't come across as a dick. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. Like, no. I'll say something trying to like be light about it, and I come across as a total dick. <laughs> So well, your grandma I, was kind of a douche, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I still think the best one well, that Austin had is when we got, the three of us got pulled over in Cam's car. Oh, yeah. And then you freaking look at the cop and go, I've got a warrant out for Yeah, you freaking idiot. <laughs> oh, and the cop's that. like, 
What? Shines his light on him. I'm like, yeah, all right, all three of you, I need your license right now. Oh, yeah, you did that. That's a bad yeah. idea. Yep. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> hey, it got, a, got us out of a ticket. It, it did. did. He got it us out of a ticket. Will, but the only reason I got you out of the ticket is because he asked our licenses because Austin true. opened his mouth. That is true. So, so it kind of came full circle. You're it welcome. Does. Austin you are, opened his mouth. So by Austin opening his mouth, got you out of a ticket because I had to give him my license. Because Zach's <laughs> last know, name. It does uh-huh. work in a weird way for him, that's for sure. <laughs> All but one time. <laughs> See, the difference, you walk into the room and go, oh, you guys got a walker as a prop too, where Chris would walk in and go, who's the gimp? <laughs> like, that's both of you like saying something bluntly without uh-huh. scanning the room first. But then he'd double down on it and he'd be like, this was still funny. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, I mean, so it's, I'm not wrong. So it's an old gimp. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what are you, like 65? <laughs> You look a day oh, over how's 90. that skin hold up? <laughs> oh, just because have... I've shared all the times but, yeah. that now that my foot's been do in my stink mouth down here, I got stink. Yeah, do we stink, stink? down here? Why would we stink? Know. She it was like just sprayed something. I'm smelling cinnamon, but she was a very nice lady. <laughs> oh. She's gonna be <laughs> I'm just gonna say cinnamon. I was like, yeah. what is cinnamon butt? Yeah. <laughs> so, and how she, do I get some? She will be missed. She will yes. be missed. She was very nice. She right. was. But I, so, <laughs> insert foot or what? You know what no. they say about the word butt? <laughs> Everything well, I mean, before I, it doesn't I mean have, anything now. Here's the thing is, well, I, I have faith, so I know she's in a better spot. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's. Exactly. I know. I got, yeah. Lisa. Yeah. I got to talk to your parents the other day. Did oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> they came in to talk to about bank? loans and stuff. Oh, they you want, can't talk to them. Did about they it. recognize you? Can no. I disclose it? I don't think I've I've only met his mom like maybe once or twice. Really? And I I, I want to say this was my first time meeting your dad. Oh, uh, was he a really? Dick? <laughs> no, I was gonna say. In fact, it was the total opposite. I couldn't get a word in otherwise. He was just a chatterbox, and this was nah. before he even knew we were friends. He was just talking. Was your mom he had awkward? To, your He's mom had to keep like tapping him and be like, "Honey, let let's just let him work." Dude, his like, mom is a freaking angel. For dealing with my dad, you bet. <laughs> yeah, she's such a sweet lady. She is a sweet lady. But I was like, yeah, I know your son, and they were. Uh, what's Johnny? No, Richard. No, no hold Richard. on. There's eight more. I know. <laughs> right? I'm trying to remember. But I was like, yeah, I th- I'm friends with your son, and they immediately, without hesitation, named one of them. And I was like, no, Chris. James, and like, Kenneth. And I think it was James. Oh, maybe. he's the favorite. I was. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's like the na- they named the one they're proud yeah, of, yeah. right? Yeah. It's yeah. like, James? Oh, okay. no. just, oh, just Chris. No. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I just hear in my head, bah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the black sheep. It would have been family. hilarious as if, if Chris's dad would have just been like, oh, <sighs> uh, hey, hey, we, we need to go. We, <laughs> <laughs> right. we don't like your kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you, deal, you deal with Chris? Hey, can I get a new loan officer, uh, please? <laughs> this one's got a tattoo on his arm and junk. <laughs> it was a bandage. <laughs> and what what do they say? Oh gosh, I don't. He seriously just he, he, he wouldn't ch- stop talking. He just, <laughs> it was like total, and I just. As at one point, I was like, I promise I'm listening, but I got to look at my computer for a sec. <laughs> like, because I, you know, I try and be nice and like focus on the conversation, but there came a point, it's like, we're going to be here all day if I don't get started. <laughs> he's, a so lot, like, he's a lot different guy than like, he's, he's mellowed out a ton. Yeah. You, well, you knew him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Back in the dark ages. Did he find weed? Like, legitimately, did he find weed? No. Okay. No. Because I have, I have, I have family <laughs> I who has found Allegedly. weed. Uh, that tends to a lot of people out. Oh my gosh, dude! Night and day difference. Night huh? and day difference. Right. They are a much nicer. Yeah, I smile too now. Batch of peeps. But no, was he awkward? He's kind of socially awkward, huh? A little yeah, bit. that I could definitely yeah. see. Yeah, but he's an engineer. engineer. Yes. <laughs> he did. Dude, he did. He, he did. What was he saying? Oh he started spatting off something and cannons. Uh, they talk and about cannons. <laughs> he loves I, his cannon. I, he does. I don't remember. He's him. got. But your mom had to be like, "That's Dude, the that's engineer dope. in him." Like she had to kind of like, yeah, because he kept. Yeah, it was fun. I, that's it was just, a good yeah. time. Engineers in general, they're all yeah. just weird dudes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, just so you know, you made that situation a lot better for him. Why is that? I don't know. Did you hear nice? I I haven't seen it, but oh, 
But yeah, he just said, oh, he's a delightful man. You're delightful. You're a delightful man. You're a delightful oh, man. See, he liked me uh, until I was dating Anna, and then <laughs> he still liked you. <laughs> he did, but, but he's he got to like, play a dick. He's he got to play a dick he while did. you're dating his daughter. That's funny. Anybody and then, will. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa! You dated Chris's sister? Yeah, just for a brief time. Oh, yeah. all right. It didn't work. All right. <laughs> Clearly, I know. <laughs> we made out on this. That's a joke. We made out it's... on this couch. <laughs> you I'm... made out with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> this is news to me. <laughs> if, if I didn't know Anna, and I, you know, I'd be like, I, I banged your brain, <laughs> banged your sister, bro. She's a nice sweetheart. She is. She's really I've cool. got a van cool. where I can have sex with your sister. <laughs> well, the funny that, thing is, is that Ron, Ron, Ron White? White. Mm. I've got a, er, I've got a three-inch windshield wiper to wipe off my headlights <laughs> in a <laughs> rainstorm. <laughs> in a rainstorm. <laughs> I've got a place I've got to have your sister. <laughs> I've got a van with a place where I can. Yeah. <laughs> so the first, the first time I actually kissed her or tried to kiss her, she turned away. Probably- and then she went and talked to Lisa, and she's like, why did I turn away? I wanted to kiss him. Why did I do it? She's and so scared. Lisa's like, try it again. <laughs> <laughs> to you? My yeah. wife's got everybody's back. And so uh, I did. Hey, and well, I mean, it obviously didn't work out. But uh, <laughs> Jenny pulled away from our first kiss. Uh-huh. Like, like it, we connected. We had a kiss, but then she, like, pulled away. And I, I was like, oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled it away. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Hey, we already said wow. it was a paranormal advisory. Oh. Wow. Was hey, <laughs> hey, did you know that uh, that his sister fired me? Yes. Okay. Because last time I talked about kissing her, you brought that up. Yeah. Oh, seriously? <laughs> oh. See, so you knew. Your guys' right. stories are completely different. And he said that last mine, time, too. <laughs> my bananas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Well, well, one, she's one all last, business at work. One last uh, <laughs> foot in the mouth story for me. Just oh, boy. It, it's so okay. good. That's so good, dude, and it's one that I will never live down. The foot, the foot's good. Oh yeah, the thing I love is you don't have taste now. The thing I love about it is you don't have shame either. Like you're just like, it it happens. It was a learning (laughs) moment for real. Oh, this was a good one. Yeah, it was a real good one. (laughs) All right. So I was going to the gym very frequently, Uh and there was a girl there who was extremely fit, and she was getting prepped for a competition that was happening for months. So she kept trimming and getting, you know bulking and all of this stuff. And anyway, she got to one weekend where she was extremely fit, went to the competition and placed, I want to say. And anyway, I didn't see her for a few weeks following. And I was like, Oh, she's probably just taking a break, whatever. And, uh, then she comes back and she's got this perfectly round belly, not a huge one, but like, Oh no, (laughs) like a decent sized one. And I was like, Oh, so that's why. Uh huh. And oh. so, and like we it's had like been conversing. Hey, but it, that's just it. I had to learn it. <laughs> he did, yeah. He I had did, to learn this it. This was learning moment. Because it, I mean, and I say little, but it really wasn't that little. Like it was, it looked it like. It was shapely. It was very shapely. Oh, it, okay. looked, it, it was round like a ball was in her shirt. This is much. making okay. my palms sweat. Yeah. So we're, oh. we're talking it up, and I'm like, so what do you do? <laughs> and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> and her smile, everything oh, leaves I'm her sure. face, and she's like, "F you." <laughs> she's like, "Oh gosh, what did she say exactly?" Oh. I got to think of what she said. She's like, "Yeah, I'm not pregnant," and I was like, "Oh, but, but your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like beer, huh?" <laughs> Oh, how did you make things better? Please, did you I, just walk away? I or? turned around and walked away. <laughs> I, <laughs> I panicked. I honestly, like, oh. honestly, it's like well, I mean, what oh. you do when you're in an airplane and get shot down? You eject, <laughs> and then you never went back to again it to that. No, it's I, funny when it's not me. I went me. back. I went back, and then afterward, <laughs> and and then like the next day or something, I'm like, I just want to apologize. Like I. Dude, like I just I want to know why she had a belly. Yeah, now I'm curious. <laughs> I'm wondering if she like just went on a binge. She probably right. did. She just that's just, just where like that's, crazy. Just, that's just where she stores fat. Her body stores initially, fat. That's yeah. the initial. She just storage. loaded up and before it had a so time since to she's, actually. Since she's more cut and muscly, and it goes into one area. Yeah, because oh, they're man. on a strict diet to get to their oh, bodies yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. That oh, just reminds me like, of that. 
that screw did. this, I can eat they whatever can. I want now. And Before competitions, they won't drink water for like 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. You did the smart thing, though. I would have kept digging. I would have been like, I did a, I was just kidding. <laughs> you know, I, so, I don't know. I mean, uh, I mean me. Oh, you're I just mean, the baby you, I'm going to have. You're just getting I mean, that. Huh? <laughs> you just get that. All that work for nothing. Huh? Like, <laughs> Have you tried light beer? <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I would just be like, ah, I'm dumb. I'm going to go over there. <laughs> well, well, that, that was dumb. basically what I you did. You went up to you like, well, that well, was I, dumb. Uh, you make it more awkward to get out of the first That's how awkward. I do it. Yeah. I was like, you always lean into the awkward Dude, to get out. Cam's one of those ones where oh. I'm just like, oh, what's that? <laughs> 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 Look at someone else. Hey, Fanny. <laughs> oh, Tom, it's just a fat kid. <laughs> I will say, I will say, we did make amends because then the the following days after it, I I did man up and go up to her and apologize. But like, right. I didn't really. She's like, no, 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 I get it, I understand. She's uh, like, I did uh, put on some weight. But now the following weeks, did it disappear? I. I don't know. <laughs> About nine do. months later. <laughs> <laughs> she retired. Can you imagine? Soon. She was messing was with like, you. <laughs> Joke's on you. It was, like, it was like the day before she took the test. Nine months later, you're like, how old is that kid? <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, like called it. <laughs> uh, like, you just walk away and she hears you scream, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because remember that one kid. Were you there? You had to have been with an earshot when we, when we all went racing the Ferraris. Uh-huh. Okay. And then that kid goes up to my wife afterward, Jess. He goes up and he's like, so I heard you're pregnant. Congratulations. And she's like, yes, I'm not pregnant. She's like, I just gave birth to our kid. And he's like, oh, well, I thought you were pregnant. Oh, <laughs> and it was like, hmm. You know, and then, but uh, was it Shaylee? Was Shaylee pregnant at the time? No, because she had Scarlet with her. Okay. Either way, but then in retrospect, we actually looked at the timeline and Jess actually was pregnant, but it was only nine weeks, so she wasn't even remotely showing. Uh Uh It was just the leftover from Micah. Yeah. But yeah, it was just funny. Like, oh, he did call it. He called it. He knew. (laughs) He could feel the energy. My dad did it to Jenny. She was still working and she was at the check stand and my dad went through her line and he kind of motions down. He's like, uh, baby number three. And she kind of goes, no, I'm just fat. I see that picture at Perfect. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, Lisa oh, will laugh great. it off and then beat me later. For Should we do an it? episode? Yeah. Your friend. Well, I guess we've already mm. kind of. I've discussed my top three. What? The foot in the mouth. I was wondering if that would make like a full episode. I don't know if anyone I else has any good stories. I don't know if I'd, I'd have to think I, about I, it. I don't, yeah. I don't retain memories that I, much. Well, if <laughs> I try to think about it, I can't remember it. I have to have something remind me of the event. That's Shower me thought. Too. Yeah. 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 Straight up, it'll. Right. Have you heard the Brian Reagan though, where he talks about that? He's uh, you ever go up? Hey, when's that baby due? And he's like, <laughs> your brain's already sent the message, and uh-huh. he can't stop the words. And it's like, when's that baby due? <laughs> <laughs> well, what baby? And he's like, uh, the pandas at the zoo. I just thought I'd ask you a complete stranger. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, I just go in the complete opposite direction, yeah. and people will be like, she. She's pregnant, can't you tell? They'll be like six months in or what, and I'll be like, I have no idea. Right? <laughs> Weird. Well, yeah, you hide that well. <laughs> you know, the one thing I feel bad for for pregnant women is when people just think they can come up and rub their belly. Dude, my wife when hated it's like, that. It's you know, like suddenly because I people? have... The, yeah, yeah, like that's a solid. it's like suddenly when all of a sudden because I have this pregnant belly, you think you can just come up and invade my personal space and rub yeah. my belly? Huh. It's like you're a complete stranger. That's yeah, weird. It I is mean, weird to think about. Yeah. Next up is, may I? No. No, you may not. May you <laughs> what? You know what's weird <laughs> is, and maybe it's maybe it's not weird, but Jess has never been like asked to touch her belly or anything. Huh. I just don't know if like maybe she just puts off that vibe like don't come near me type thing. <sighs> Karate oh. chop. Or maybe she's just like I so small that like off. I'll be the first one to ask now. No, you don't ask. You just oh, walk just, up. All right, I'm just gonna go up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just go push on the belly button. Turkey's right. done. <laughs> just young. Oh, don't. Ding dong. <laughs> oh god. Think the, tur- think the turkey's done. Oh yeah, you don't like a belly button being yeah. touched. Stop it. <laughs> oh, is it that so weird, weird feeling you get? Yeah, it's so. Bad. What yeah. is that? I don't, I don't know. Oh. Austin knows that feeling when that's you mention that. Yeah. <laughs> 
You still got your food tube in there. Mm. I don't know if you do or not. I'm just kidding. Mm. I think it's scar tissue, isn't it? Yes. Like, scar uh, tissue. Th- that one day when you sent that message, and I was like, I hope you have spiders in your salad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I felt really bad after sending it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I hope he doesn't like start looking. Well, you know, <laughs> speaking of spiders, I had one crawling up my leg today. And I was what did you do? Oh, I was in my work truck and I felt something and I looked down and I was like, this is, and I slapped it so away. So that was then... that five car pile up I heard about. <laughs> That's when he luckily, lost all the Red Bull out of his truck. <laughs> luckily, I was parked and... Uh, yeah, for about... He takes a Red Bull, <laughs> like shakes it up and opens it, it. It was about a half hour after that. I kept, I kept brushing from. my leg. I kept feeling like something was on my leg. Honestly, I don't even have a... Sucks. I don't have a fear of spiders, but when I see one on me, I do feel buggy after mm-hmm. for I've a while. i trying to be better about it. I, I do, too. I get that, like, <clears throat> yep. initial, and I'm like... So now I'll, like, get closer to it. Don't you hate it when it's like... Just the, to test my fear When it's, it. like, the opposite, Ugh. and you think you have, like, a hair or something tickling you, so you reach and back and grab a it, and it is a bug. And you grab a crusty something, and it's a spider. Yeah. I had I it one grab. time. I, was, I brush every time. Not no matter me, what's grab. going on, I brush. You know, I did that I once, and grab. it was actually a bee. I was going to say... It was a hornet. I've done that once. I had something. I was like, oh, and I grabbed it. And it was a hornet. I was like, ah! Hey, you don't grab. You brush. Yeah. You tested I, fate. I, I did. did I didn't know it was a hornet. Right. I did it driving. I had my windows down. I was driving, and I thought I felt something hit, and I didn't think much of it. and went like this, and it, there was something there, so I grabbed it, and yeah, it was a hornet. I was oh, like, dude, oh, my gosh. I've had them fly right into the window and, like, nail you. Yeah. And you're like, get it! <laughs> and like well, they're trapped in by the airflow and they can't get out. Uh-huh. The legend says that they can't sting you through your hands because it's too thick as skin on the, oh, on the palm of your hand. Don't want to try it. I know me <laughs> neither. That was <laughs> such a sucky place I've to get stung. I've seen my stung. girl. I don't want to. <laughs> right? Oh. I have my ears twice. <laughs> Did you guys get that thing I sent you? It had. So. Uh, it had. Uh, who's the Pokemon? B drill has yeah. B drill. And it says, be drill attacks. It says, super effective. And underneath, it has the funeral scene from my girl. Oh. <laughs> it's super effective. Oh. <laughs> I haven't even seen that movie. <laughs> wow. That's you bad. haven't seen my girl? No, yeah, so she dies because she's allergic to bees. He dies. He dies. It's a movie. Macaulay Culkin? Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. Spoiler. What, well, what about the girl? I'm confused. I, I wouldn't trust the, uh, his... the, the they can't sting through I would don't trust hands. it either, but I've yeah, heard because that. Because crap. Just... Oh, excuse me. It just last summer, I was out there rolling up my my garden hose, and one was on the underside of the garden hose. And so while I was douche. reeling it in, I was like, you know how you fish it, to right? Like wind it up, totally snagged into my hand, and he bit or he stung my hand. Did he? Uh, yeah. And it got you good. Oh yeah. Way to solve that for us. Yeah. yeah. Now we don't yeah. have to worry about it. So you don't have tough skin. No, <laughs> I, well, these actually, baby hands. I was gonna say Austin's got girly hands. I do so. have baby hands, man. These things I, ain't seen labor. I got a funny story in with that. Decade. Just <laughs> since we're on topics of just random stories, back when Jenny and I were uh, shopping for wedding rings, I went into uh, one of the jewelry stores and didn't know my ring size. So he pulls out the thing to see what size of ring I have. And at the time, I was like a seven and a half or something like that. And he and the guy just so nonchalantly was like, "Oh yeah, that's the average <laughs> ring size of a woman." I'm like, thanks, jackass. <laughs> 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 oh, it's not man. his fault to get dainty hands <laughs> <laughs> I really do My fingers are I got long fingers mm. I can, oh, do, can you go that Spider-Man. What the freak dude <laughs> What do you need to spread them that far apart for What are you, just, what, are you climbing a wall <laughs> Spider-Man challenge Look, It's almost as Oh my, my gosh goodness. Not even close <laughs> <laughs> You're a mutant. <laughs> Scared yeah. from Area 51. Human gecko, man. <laughs> oh man. Well, let's wrap this up. Um, this ended up being a completely <laughs> random topic, <laughs> or if we even want to call it a topic. Shoot the breeze. With it. We just but shot the breeze. This was great. Good stuff. Hope you stuck with us the whole time. Um, if you did, give us a like, subscribe. We've got great stuff, stuff for the whole family. Um, and if you can, please join. Um, we get comments all the time about how you guys would love to see more than one episode a week. We yes. would love to do more than one yeah. episode a week, but we do need your help if we want to get there. So please, any help would be awesome. And uh, 
we'll uh, see you next week. <laughs> hey, yeah, and real quick, little sidebar. If you can't be a member, you can't hit that join button just because you, you're afraid of the, mo- oh, yeah. the monthly monetary support, there's this awesome new feature that would be totally sweet is a super thanks. Basically, you can just click oh, it, do a that. one-time donation. You can leave us a comment that gets highlighted and make sure that we see it. So yeah. uh, if you'd want to show us It's just like support, a quick $500, uh, just bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Then no, you'll never hear from us again. <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> I was going to say, you could use that in your favor as if uh, you hate us. And want us to know, you can still <laughs> yeah. click that button, Bring the hate. pay the one-time yeah. fee. That comment will get highlighted, oh and we gosh. will know that you hate us. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I want to see. see? Yeah. yeah, if we anger you in any way, <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, hey, here's an idea. Hey, pull up, pull up some quick questions oh, from our we're last on to something. <laughs> we're on to something. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's our what's our word for the week? Oh, today's Sheboykin. word. <laughs> Sheboykin? Sheboykin? There you go, Is folks. Is that a city? Sheboykin. Well, Sheboykin. We, can't, we, can't, we can't search that. No one's going to spell it the same. <laughs> Give us a word that everyone will spell oh. the same. Word that everyone... Amber turd. Amber, hashtag Amber turd down in the comments. We'll be able to search for that. But yeah, type that hashtag <sighs> Amber turd. See, this could work in our favor because that, that, that hashtag is going to piss off some people. Yeah. So A-M-B-E-R-T-U-R-D. People named Amber. And uh, <laughs> leave us your any. question that you want answered. That lets us know that you listened all the way to the end. And uh, then that way we can search for it and answer your questions. So let's go. get some questions from the last podcast. Um... Here's a random one. I just there was uh, uh, quite a bit of comments on the episode that we did this on. So trying to find the ones that left questions. Um, here's one from D Nice, one of our good friends. Ah. Um, she said, "What color do you want your background to be in the new house? The crowd wall, as Ooh. she called it. Ooh. Oh, that'd be dope. Huh. Purple." <laughs> <laughs> Purple. That's actually what I have our uh, our uh, Chrome web browser has. That's, yeah. yeah, I said that. That's a, exactly what Austin <laughs> said. <laughs> Chrome web but yeah, you're welcome. Uh, that though? I think like a. Uh, I mean, yeah. What is our thing now? It's like a purple and a kind of a turquoise. It's teal, like yeah. it's like teal. '90s jazz, bro. Oh, yeah, I didn't even uh-huh. think of that. It is, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Um, we gotta have something fun with uh, you know. Make sure there's a life size poster of Dwayne the Rock Johnson right in the middle too. So, no. sure, we'll get Dwayne in there somewhere for oh, you. Oh, we'll get Dwayne. We'll in get there just, so what we should have is is just you know I can like 3D waist to the, neck. The just Rock his... Octopus toy thing is just oh, gonna I already got on one of those. The okay. Rock Octopus. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds nasty. That sounds like a sex toy. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> My cousin got a 3D printer, and that was the first thing he printed was a Rock Octopus for me. That's I'll hilarious. <laughs> Oh, what else we got? This is there was this one's not a question, but it fits tonight's episode perfectly. It says you guys are really entertaining, but man, do you have trouble staying on topic? <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> My yes. goodness, this yes, is why. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. this is called playing to your strengths. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You gotta we remember, know we're not gonna stay on top. Yeah. The whole no. premise is think of yourself at some random house party, and it's just a bunch of dudes talking about random crap. Right. That's what happens. I think one of our Things for a title we were going to set up was in the weeds or something like that. That yeah. was one of those. Oh, yeah, I think that was one of the. Still trying ones. to pick one of the. Yeah, when we were trying to figure out before a, we came up with Five's a Crowd. <laughs> yeah, in the weeds, dude. Now that it is officially titled Five's a Crowd, I couldn't imagine any other title. Right, it's so it, fitting. Yeah, it is. Oh, I was trying to think real quick the other one that was up to like on deck, and it was Dudes to Dads. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that one wasn't bad. Mm-hmm. I like dudes to dads, but one. it is a tongue twister a little bit. You know, someone said I'm worth it in the comment section. That you're worth it. Yes, Aww. song come to my head. We oh, were God. we were talking about the the, the whole jackass thing it. with the UFC fighter, and she goes, uh, "What did she say? Uh, the force of the UFC fighter punch is equivalent to getting hit at full speed by a Ford Fusion." She goes, I think a hundred bucks is way too low. Zach, you're worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh. saw that just now. <laughs> we yeah, it's agree, worth Zach. me giving a hundred bucks to watch Zach get hit in the nuts. <laughs> by you. I'll tell you um, what. This if question, everybody puts in a hundred bucks, I'll do it. 
This this question <laughs> comes to us from ceiling fans and stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and they want to know why do most of us guys giggle at the word pecker? <laughs> 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 I tried not to. <laughs> it was a I pure fell pack. hook, line, and sinker for that one. It was a pure fact that we weren't supposed to laugh that made it funny. Yeah, yeah that's what did it. <laughs> it, uh, it always reminds me, in fact, I watched a clip of the other day of Echo. Austin Powers 2, where the, the thing's flying around, oh, yeah. and they're Pekka. like, hey, that looks like, and the little lady's like, Pekka. <laughs> reminds me of a song. Woody. There's a country Woody song. Harris. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. All right. Well, again, uh, yeah. hey, leave us your questions down below. Use that hashtag Amber Turd. We'll pick a few of them to answer them next time. We'll get better at the format and, and time on answering these. Right. Real quick. One last one. Okay. KP would like to know what Cam's search history looks like. She says, I can oh only imagine gosh. what Cam's history search history looks like after 83 oh episodes. Gosh. He's on the FBI wanted list. <laughs> the let's watch just, say, list. The let's watch just say list. my targeted ads are all over the place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a great way to cause right. illusion. Right. We don't know who this guy is. We don't know what he wants. <laughs> FBI watch list. We don't know who he is, but he probably <laughs> needs insurance and he hates pants <laughs> here's one more one more quick one hmm. katrina hokinson hokinson what is your favorite toy from the 90s oh man favorite toy from the 90s nintendo 64 is that a toy that's though not a toy. that's a game console that's not 90s either that was, that was 2000s that. hey let him have his What's toy that? no that was 64 that was 64 that was 96 Late 90s. Wasn't no, it? it came out like 95, 96. Dude, okay, it was mid to out. Late 90s. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, it was out a surprised. while ago. I don't know if these yep. were from the 90s. 96? See? Look, up, on. look up constructs. C O N S T. Oh, you know what? Hands down, Transformers. They're cool. Hands down. What Dude, I had so many Transformers. Dude, I had so many Transformers. Like, even like the Beast Wars and I stuff. Had Beast okay. Wars. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I had Beast Wars. Okay. I had Beast Wars. Beast Wars were great. Collected Hot Wheels cars. And Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels were awesome. I had One yards and yards of Hot Wheel tracks. Oh, dude, I had... I didn't have the Hot Wheel tracks. I just had cars. I had I mega. three full cases uh, of just cars. I had, yeah, tons and tons. And the thing that pissed me off, I was in Barnes & Noble one time. And I found this book that said Eight. how much Hot Wheels cars would be if they oh, were in mint condition. I'm glad I never and found I'm looking that through that book going, <clears throat> have that one, have that one, have that one. But of course, they're all beat up. Oh, yeah. I play the crap out of them. But that's just but, it. That they wouldn't be worth anything if, you know, yeah. if everyone kept them pristine. Right? I'm not going to lie. My favorite toy in the 90s was like a stick. <laughs> Dude, That's one of those I guys. was gonna say, for real though, for real, it, it could really be a was. wand, it could be a staff, it, it could, could be, be a, a bow, it could be a sword. A, could be. Have a you rifle. seen that thing? Have you seen that thing when it's like me, ten years old, with an empty uh, gift wrapping yeah. roll, and it shows uh, Donatello from Ninja Turtles, and then it's like me, thirty years old, with an empty paper roll, That's and it's doing the same thing. Yeah, yep. It's dummy. <laughs> No, I one that came to mind to that uh, it was actually on that Netflix show move or toys that made us or something. I had Power Rangers uh -huh. that their heads were spring loaded. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. So it, it, would, it was like their human face, and then you push it, and it flips to their right. Power Ranger face. Yep. I had Ninja Turtles. I was big into Dude, Ninja I Turtles. Those. I had this I had an RC car. Things. Mortal Kombat. What was it called? It was called like Tire Storm. It was this red car it had like this like golden like cockpit looking windshield thing and then the tires on the back were these super long like strips of rubber huh. and so when you would hit go like because you had two basically sticks that went up and down and each one controlled one of the tires one side right yeah yeah and then when you so when you would push both of them up the thing would spin so fast that the the tires would actually pull in and the like straps would like elongate and the thing would lift up and like and like fly Crazy. down the street that's cool they were wicked Ooh, fast that reminds me of this gun i had this like a nerf gun but i don't know if nerf made it but it shot these rubber rings and like you the the end of it almost looked like a, a jet engine kind of how it has that um oh yeah, like yeah thing in the middle and you slip the ring over it 
And then, yeah, you shoot it, and it shoots the ring in, like, like circular form, if that huh. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. Yeah. Damn. Like a cyclone. Yeah. Yeah. Now, was imagine cool if they turn that thing into an adult toy for when your wife wanted to put a condom on you. Oh my gosh. Don't want her aiming something that shoots things anywhere near that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, honey, run a zigzag pattern. Go. <laughs> Just covered in condoms. Like. <laughs> Why are they sticking to me? All right. But yes, Sorry, okay, we're done. Thought. Yeah. Leave your comments, <laughs> leave your questions, and we will see you all next week. This Thanks so much for being everywhere. part of this crowd. This yeah. has been great. Love, Love you, you all. Bye. Ciao. Bye.